What's up everyone, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you the seed flop method for solving a Rubik's Cube. So the first step is the cross. So if you don't know the cross, then go back to my beginner method tutorial, and you'll be able to solve the cross. So just go ahead and... If you need to so if you need to see my video, then go ahead, look at that one. And yeah, so I'm just gonna solve the cross. So now, as you solve the cross, the next thing is F2L. So I'm not going over like full, like I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna like describe me solving it because this otherwise this would be a really long video. So as you can see, so if, if you didn't know, a tool is where you put up a corner and an edge and he pair them up so that when they go in, so like when you put them in, like let me set the case up. So like this edge and this corner need to pair so I can pair them up. And I and what's the point of doing that? It's so you can insert them like this. And now look. There is that pair. So here is how I did that. So I'm just gonna recreate that case. Okay. I'm just gonna show you like what I did. So this pair, I just made a pair. And so this pair, cause these orange, cause this orange is as a bar and the first layers has two, has two layers in it. So you only need two of these. And then not only these have to match, but this has to match. And I'm solving on the white side, so we have to have a, one of these pieces have to have a, so the corner piece has to have a white on it. So yeah, the, this is solved. And the way I would put this in here is this. So, so it would be like this. And now you have solved your Okay, actually you didn't. So, okay, now using the algorithm you can solve, you have 12 pairs. So I will make, I might make another video to make this subject easier to learn. So, on. One other thing I found is that if you don't have, is that if you have a cross, if you lost a cross piece while doing something, I don't know why you would lose a cross piece, but you can just use a PLL algorithm that I'm going to show you in this video, but you can use that to like sort of do something, so I don't know what I'm saying. So now I'm just going to be, so now I'm just going to pair these up again, give some more examples of what you do. So these two match, so you guys should, so that can, to those go together. But one thing to be careful about is like, which way for you to like pair them up together. Cause in the way I just did that, it, it actually paired them up. It paired the right pieces up, but it paired them up in a different way way so yeah be careful about that i don't think you that would happen to you if you're if you're not colorblind but i am so yeah now let's see so this one that's the last of 12 pair and you can see you're solved a 12 and now you do oh so i get so what you do is in two like all you see what case you have 
because you would have a case, and then depending on what case you get, you would do an algorithm. And now that left me with this case. So I'm just going to do an algorithm for that. And that left me with this case. So, but the objective of the algorithms I'm doing at the moment is to get this. The yellow cross. So I actually might have did something wrong while planning F2L. Yeah, F2L was wrong because I'm colorblind, so I actually did a yellow piece. So yeah, now the step is to figure out what shape you have. Why do you have to do that? Is to make the yellow cross. So not the white cross, but the yellow cross. So, and then you do an algorithm to solve these yellow corners. Not in the right positions, but just orient them like correctly so they're all facing up. So, now we have solved OLO, which is the yellow side. Now what you would do is you would do a, is you would actually have to find it. If you have this, which I do, then there's like, on the opposite side, there'll be a pair of corners that need to strip. Which there is, because this red has to go here, and this orange has to go here. So you're going to do an algorithm for that. A few likes for, I'll decide the number of likes later, but likes, however many, a lot of likes on this video for me to make you, make a video showing all of this algorithms. And so, now you just have to solve the edges. And then... I got kind of a weird case, but then after that, you will have solved the entire cube. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.